Hey guys, Kenny here, and today we're going to be creating a economy plugin. Now this economy plugin is going to be quite simple. It'll have one command slash econ, and you're going to be able to add, uh, set, or remove coins from a player's account. So let's go ahead and dive right on into it. So the first thing we're going to do is make the economy manager. Now this is how we're going to be setting and getting the player's balance. So let's go ahead and create a new Java class and call it economy. You can even call it econ manager, just like that. And most of the methods in here will be static, just so you know. Let's go ahead and make a new hash map. Okay, so in this hash map, we'll go ahead and make a comment over here so that we can remember what's in it. We'll have a the player's name and their balance. That's what each one of these will represent. So let's go ahead and make a method to set the player's balance. So we're going to call it a public, a static, and it's going to return nothing. Uh, set balance string player and I forgot to add an argument to it double amount and in this method we're gonna go ahead and set the balance and amount so this is quite simple so all we're doing is when we call this method we are setting in the hash map the players name and the amount that they want the balance to be set at now if you're thinking about how do I add or remove balances what we'll do is we'll get the balance subtract that and then add it or uh, set it that probably made no sense now that I'm thinking about what I just said but it'll make sense in like a minute or so so let's go ahead and make another method static uh, this one will return it'll return a double get balance for the player just like that and we'll return balance dot get player and I didn't have a return value there we go now we've got a method to get the players balance and we've got a method to set the players balance and that is really all we're going to need now if you guys don't quite understand what's going on here you can go ahead and click on the annotation on the screen and it'll bring you to another video explaining hash maps in Java because I know they can be quite tricky at first but other than that let's go ahead and get right back into what we were doing go ahead and create another Java class and this will be our econ command the slash econ command and we'll go ahead and set up the on command method so now that we have our on command method set up let's go ahead and go over arguments a little bit more in depth so arguments always start on the first term after the command the command is not included in the arguments so args at zero the array at zero is going to be add so e slash econ add args at zero is going to be add now the second argument is going to be the name and the third argument is going to be the amount now this this first argument can either be set or it's it can also be remove any of those will work I'll go and leave it back at add and they will always that's the first argument I'm saying the first argument but it's really at zero so it's a zeroth in the array the in that's the index so let's go ahead and hop into code and set up that so let's go ahead and catch and make sure the sender is giving us the right amount of arguments now if you remember if we go back to my little diagram right here we will see that the minimum number of arguments is going to be three so we need args dot length to equal three in order for us to do anything so if args dot length does not equal three then we're gonna tell them hey we're actually gonna tell them it in red because we've got an error here red hey you cannot use that command like that and then we'll go ahead and tell them how to use it in green because it's right and then we need a return true because we don't want to continue on to any other code so now let's go ahead and handle what will happen if the argument length does equal three well first of all do they even have permission to use this so if cs dot has permission uh, economy dot use and you guys can make these permissions more complicated if you want so now we're going to handle what happens if the argument length is equal to three so if args not args if argument at zero is equal ignoring the case to add then we're going to do this otherwise we're going to if the args at zero equals remove then we're going to do something 
And lastly, if it equals set, then we're going to do something. Uh, and if it doesn't equal any of those, we're going to send them a message in red telling them they're sending us the, an incorrect argument. So now let's go ahead and go back up to add and let's see what we can do. So now let's go ahead and go back to the e econ manager and we need to add one more method. We need to add a method to see if a player has an account with this server. So in order to do that, we'll just create a Boolean method and see if they have an account. And we're going to return if this if the hash map contains player. So if the hash map does contain the player, then they have an account. If it does not contain the player, then they do not have an account. So let's go back into our econ command and let's see if the player has an account or a an account. So if econ manager dot has account arguments at one. If they don't have an account, then we're going to tell them that the player does not have an account. And we need to return true so it doesn't con uh, continue with any other code. Now, now that we've gone through that check, the player has an account. Let's go ahead and add the amount to his balance. But first, we need to go ahead and see if the player has entered in a correct value for the amount to add. So let's go ahead and make a try and catch statement here. Let's go ahead and set the double amount equal to zero and amount is going to equal to double dot parse double args at one now args at two and w if if it doesn't work if this if they enter in some phony amount so for instance if they type in um, a series of characters instead of numbers then that's going to call the catch and that's going to call an exception. And then we're going to be like, Hey, you, you got to enter in a number. So we'll tell them CS dot send message in red. Of course you gotta enter in a number URL, just like that. And then we will go ahead and return. So we don't continue on with any other code. Now, um, we technically don't even need the amount. Just leave it at zero. So now we're going to go ahead and add that value to the player's account. So econ manager dot set balance for our player, which was at args or one. And we're going to go ahead and set it to econ manager dot get balance of the player, not player args at one plus uh, the amount. And there we go. Now we have set, we've added an amount to the player's balance. So I'll go ahead and go over this one more time. If the player has an account, if they don't have an account, then we're going to tell them player, the player doesn't have an account and return. Now, if the player has an account, we'll go ahead and continue and we'll create a variable amount and we'll make sure that the player is giving us a, uh, the command center is giving us an actual number for the amount. If they aren't, we'll go ahead and tell them they need to enter in a number, bro. And other than that, the rest of the command is fine and we'll go ahead and set their balance. So in remove, we will do the exact same thing, except for just go ahead and change the plus to a minus and that will be removed. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. And lastly for this set, we'll go ahead and copy everything over but now, instead of uh, subtracting anything, we're not editing the balance. We are actually setting their balance. We're going to set their balance to the amount. And just like that, we have created our very first uh, command for this plugin. But of course, you got to remember, we got to register the command. So I'll go ahead and register the command. So now that the command is registered, we can go ahead and start working on the saving loading API. So let's go ahead and make a new Java class and we'll call this slap I stands for saving loading API just like that and this will be another static class so in this class we're going to be saving all of the players balances to a YML file and we're also going to be loading them from the YML file when the server starts up 
Now, this will all be stored in the config.yml. If you guys are interested in creating your own YML files with custom names, I'll make another tutorial on that, just like the hash maps one, and that will be coming up soon. Anyways, for now, let's go ahead and do it this way. So public load, or no, we'll save the values, save balances. And now, in order to save all of the balances, we're going to have to have a way to get all of the balances. And if you remember, if we go back to our econ manager, we don't have a method for that yet. So we got to go ahead and make that. So public static. Just go ahead and return the whole hash map just for now, just for easiness sake. And now we'll go ahead and go back into the slot by and for all the values in that hash map that in the key set for all the players in econ manager dot get balance map dot key set we're going to go ahead and save all of the values in this loop into the config file now in order to access the config file you have to remember we need to have the plugin the the class that extends the java plugin so in order to get that let's go ahead and make a method and the easiest way to do that would be to just add it to the econ manager so let's go ahead and make a constructor here and we'll require the small economy and we'll make a private variable called small economy and we'll set plugin equal to instance now we go back to the small economy class and we'll go ahead and create a new econ manager, not a net, a new econ manager, and go ahead and give it uh, this, which is giving it this, that class, this class, this class, not that class, this class. <laughs> that probably confused you more. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and make a method to get the plugin, and we'll go ahead and return the, not that, return plugin. Now, why is it going to give me a red line? Oh, because it's not a static field. There we go. Now we have a method to get the plugin. And now if we go back into SlapPy, uh, we can go ahead and create a variable in here called plugin. Private small economy plugin equal, equals uh, econ manager get plugin. Because we're going to be using plugin a lot in this class, so we might as well create a variable for it. So plugin get config dot set. And we'll go ahead and call it balances dot plus p, and we'll go ahead and get the econ manager map or the balance map again, and we're going to get it at the player value. And there we go. And why do we have a no, it's because it's not static again. So now we're going to, that'll be saving all of the balances into the config file, just like that. It's a very simple method. Now, if we go ahead and make another static void method called load balances. So for the string s in plugin.getconfig. We're going to have to get the selection path balance, and we'll get the keys for that. And we're going to give it false. So for all of the players, basically this is looping through all of the what we set before. So it'll look like balance and then tabbed over uh, player name one, player name two, player name three, player name four, player name five, all the way down for as many players. And here we're loading it. So when we're getting the configuration selection, we're saying, okay, so just basically tab over. So get rid of that balance. Theoretically, get rid of that balance and get all of the keys of it. Now the keys are all of the values in it, so it'll be every single player. And we're just looping through all of that. So when when we do that, what we're gonna do is go ahead and econ manager dot set balance for the player to the plugin dot get config. Sorry, deleted a parenthesis dot get double balance dot plus s plus 
Actually, that's it. Just like that. And set balance S. There we go. Now we can save and load the balances. And let's go ahead and call these methods in the on enable and on disable method. Lapi dot save balances. And then here we will go ahead and slap I dot load balances. Now back in the slap I, we do need to make sure that there is balances to begin with. Because if we try and run the plugin right now, when it loads, it'll say, hey, we got an error here because there's no balances, so there's nothing to loop through. What, what do I do? And it'll just stop. So what we got to do is if plugin without caps lock, not that, plugin dot get config dot contains, and this is saying if it contains the path balance. If it doesn't contain that, then we're going to go ahead and return. Now there's another thing we have to keep in mind is at the moment, we have no way for players to even create an account. So what we're going to have to do is create an account when the player joins. So we'll go ahead and make a player join listener and implement listener. And we'll make a method for that. And we've got to add the event handler. Okay, so now as soon as they join for the first time, we are going to go ahead and create an account for them. Event dot get player actually econ manager dot set balance for event dot get player dot get name because we, we can't give it the player variable itself because it takes a string, the set balance method. And we'll go ahead and set their balance. We'll give them a starting balance of two hundred and you can add the D just so it's a double, just so it knows. But you don't necessarily have to. Like we can convert up from an integer. But I'll just go ahead and leave it as a double. And so now, as soon as they join, they'll get 200 coins. But every time they join, they'll get 200 coins right now. So in order to fix that, we've got to go if econ manager dot has account event dot get player dot get name. If they don't have an account, or no, if they do have an account, then we're just going to return. We're just going to say no. Now we need to make sure that we register this event with bucket. So I'll go ahead and go back our main class and go ahead and make register it. Get plugin manager. And we'll go ahead and create a new player join. And we'll call in this. There we go. Now well, another thing I almost forgot is we have to make sure that we save the config file in the uh, slap eye. So plugin dot save config. Okay, so now our simple little economy plugin is done. Now, keep in mind, you can add a lot to this. You can expand and use it in other plugins. You can even make your own slash balance command, create your own signs for this plugin, like uh, buy, sell signs. It's a lot of fun stuff. Go ahead and test it out. So after we export it, let's go ahead and drag and drop into our server like that. And we'll go ahead and start up our server and we'll join the local host server. There we go. Now, if we go ahead and go and reload the server so we can see what our balance is when we first join the server because if you remember when the plugin disables it will save your balance so reload now let's go ahead and go into the plugin directory and you can see our small economy folder has been created go ahead and open this and open it up over here and go back into the uh, file itself you can see we have created comedy alliance under 200 now, if we go ahead and type in econ, add comedy alliance, and we type in 250, we will have added it. And now if we reload the server, go back into here, say yes, we'll see 450 because 200 plus 250 is 450. Now, if we want to remove 50 coins, we can go ahead and go up one and we'll remove 50. And if we reload the server, Go back into here and see that now you're at 400 and we can even set the balance using the command that we created now this plugin as i said just a second ago can easily be expanded on and i really recommend it i recommend you guys creating your own slash bow or slash balance command i strongly recommend doing that i also recommend giving you guys 
having messages sent to the players when they issue the command because that can be really, really helpful. But other than that, guys, uh, the source files for this plugin will be in the description. I hope you guys had fun learning this. Let me know if I went too fast or if you guys like the tutorial separated into multiple parts because this will be quite a long one. Uh, let me know that. Let me know if you liked the video. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to email me, mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com. Uh, you can even come visit me at my server, mc.arcanerealm.net. We're gonna be having some pretty awesome epic changes coming up with some projects we're working on. So I'm looking forward to that but don't want to hold you guys too much longer i'm kenny and i i'll see you guys next time